whatever you want to them. Let's bring in CNN national security commentator, former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Mike Rogers. Mr. Chairman, always great to have you. Just your overall Thanks. reaction to that comment from the former mayor of New York City that the president could have shot James Comey and gotten away with it. Not a chance. Not a chance. Listen, I know Rudy Giuliani. I, I think he's a, a great attorney. I think he's on TV every weekend for a sort of the sole purpose of trying to set the table in this investigation. Even the document that was leaked was all about trying to prepare uh, what comes in the next uh, probably few months on the Mueller investigation. So there is no way. Matter of fact, this precedent, by the way, John, was set in about 1792 when George Washington established the in the public interest consideration in the duties of the president. So there's long precedent on, on activities of the president. So you, you can't do something that is not in the public interest uh, as, as president of the United States. So that, I think that gets to the pardon issue. It gets to certain executive issues. Sure. And it gets to this notion you, can't be, you cannot be charged for murder. And well, leave murder aside because that's just absurd. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani, well, the lawyers, Jay Sekulow and John Dowd, wrote the letter in January, essentially say the president can't obstruct justice. Let me read you the clip here. It remains our position that the president's actions here, by virtue of his position as the chief law enforcement officer, could neither constitutionally nor legally constitute obstruction because that would amount to him obstructing himself. Do you agree the president can't obstruct justice? No, I think where there, there is a legal fine point here, and I think it's this. If the, if the president, in, in the normal course of his duties, let's say firing uh, James Comey for the purposes that, that he had done something inappropriate, mm -hmm. the, the director of the FBI, even if there was an investigation, I think they could make the case, hey, listen, I'm doing my job as president. It has nothing to do with anything else. What we saw in the Nixon case was that he destroyed evidence that mm -hmm. indicted that uh, would have protect or uh, in, in implicated him in possible illegal crimes. The the Supreme Court came back and said, no, you can't do that. So I think there is good precedent on all of this. Again, I think it gets back mm -hmm. to this: what is in the uh, public interest for the duties of the president? And I think it would be hard pressed if if though if there was information that led, uh, you know, could could, uh, I think, implicate the president of the United States, and he tried to do something different from that. That's not in the public interest. Mm -hmm. That's in the self-interest. And I think that's the line uh, that I think the public certainly won't allow well, us to well, well, let me ask you a question here. Broadly speaking, you talk about the public interest. Is it in the public interest to have the White House and even the president's lawyer lie, publicly, blatantly lie? Well, listen, I, I never think lying is a, uh, is a good idea. I think what their legal team is trying to do is put out the best case that they can up front. Uh, and again, if lying were a crime, there wouldn't be, I don't think, three people left in the United no, States no. Congress. No, no, I appreciate right? that. I mean, but what I'm talking public. about now is in this 20-page letter, the president's lawyers in January admitted that the president dictated Donald Trump Jr.'s response to the Trump Tower meeting where he was promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. Jay Sekulow, the president's lawyer, repeatedly and publicly said the opposite uh, for like a month last year. Sarah Sanders yeah. flat out said he certainly did not dictate the letter. Now we know the president certainly did dictate the letter. So either the president lied to them or they lied to us. There's really no option C here, correct? I think that's correct. And I, you know, my, if I were betting, I, I think the president probably would say, hey, my recollection on if I did or didn't was wrong. And I informed these people is probably the, the road that he'll walk on. I, I agree, though. I mean, the, the notion that you have to lie to, to conduct mm -hmm. the business of the uh, White House is not healthy. It's not healthy for the White House. It's not healthy for the office of the presidency. Certainly not healthy uh, for the United States of America. But you're, I, I, we're going to have to shake this thing out. Put, I think, put your old bit. FBI hat on then and your chairman. A committee with investigatory powers, if you see a pattern of dishonesty, if you see in the course of your investigation what has now turned out to be a lie, what does that raise to you? What alarm bells would that set off? Well, clearly they knew that they had done something that was inappropriate. That's why they lied about it. As an old investigator, that's you're gonna you're gonna focus on on that like white on rice. You're gonna come. That's your focus. You want to understand exactly why you believe that you should lie about something you knew to be true, uh, and what else is behind it. So they'll spend some time. I'm sure Mueller is trying to spend some time behind that, trying to figure right. out what was the motivation of that. And clearly, it was because the president shouldn't have been probably involved in drafting a memo. Uh, on a meeting that he wasn't even present at. He was clearly trying to defend uh, something where he believed it was either harmful to him or his family at that point. Is that in and of itself then 
worthy of investigation. And the reason I ask that is because the House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy over the weekend in an interview basically said he sees no evidence of collusion. And because of that, this whole thing should be done right now. Well, I, again, I, did, I didn't see that particular interview. I, I do worry about this. The, the collusion piece, I think, needs to be needs to come to a conclu uh, some conclusion. Mm -hmm. Mueller either needs to say yes, there was collusion, or here is exactly what the Russians were doing to try and influence U.S. elections. And I think that second part of that, by the way, John, nobody disputes that. Everybody understands. Republicans, Democrats, all the intelligence agencies say yes, the Russians were attempting to influence the elections and try to get Americans at each other's throat. I would argue they may have done a fine job of that. And so that piece, I do think, needs to wrap up. All of these other actions of the president certainly rattles your faith and trust and confidence uh, that they're going to be truthful when it really counts, when it really is important for the best interest of the United States of America. And I think that's what has people rattled with the way this thing has unfolded. I didn't hear rattling in Kevin McCarthy's voice there, but, but, uh, but I'll take your word for it that there are those who 